Um, when you were my age, what did you do to have fun? Uh, making hay in the fields, uh, getting a drive on the float. And the best time was uh, the carnival came to the village every August. So we had great fun during the carnival and we had hurling matches. And, um, as, and during uh, the winter time, um, pictures would co come. Catching and skipping. Oh, and cycle around on our bicycles, we went visiting to neighbours and had games in the houses and everything. I would dance it. We hunted rabbits. We used to go to the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. I used to go into the pictures. We made our own one, it was house dancing that time. A lot of people had uh, their own music, accordions, and house music and so on, and we'd have tea. And I was second year student in the Mercy Convent, too. Yeah. We used to go for long walks, accompanied by the nuns <laughs> and back home to study Sunday evening. I took up my father's bike and went up the road and he ran after me with a stick and I broke the chain <laughs> and he never gave me the bike again. Fun, uh, sports in particular that are okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, we play, we, we play hurling and football. Yeah. And uh, handball, mm -hmm. we'd also play a game called uh, Pitch and Toss, which we would do on the, on the road, the sand roads at the time. And what were your fashion trends? There are dresses out now that we wore in them times. Long dresses and a hat. They were the main things that stands out, yeah. I, I, of course. I started shaving. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have them. People were very conservative. We just wore a, a suit, going to mess. Which people, young people would find very strange today. Fashion, there wasn't an awful lot of fashion, really, but we used to wear skirts and jumper dresses. Doing an old fashioned skirt. Mama Lizzie's skirt with a cap. Uh, well, uh, not as short as today fashion. <laughs> Never that short. No, it was kind of in between. Well, boots were really fashionable. They were like your Doc Martens nowadays. Um, all laces and big thick knitted socks up to our knees. Uh, big bows in our hair like the Giorgio bow now. Patrick say we wore a green one. Corn rice trousers and a, and a, and a tunic. <laughs> or a jacket. Okay. Corn rice trousers and nail boots in the winter time. And no shoes at all in the summer time. <laughs> Tell us one of your favourite stories from your youth. The man that was in Galway one time when I was young, going into school. We used to win on the train at that time. I used to to live near the station and there was a man in Galway, he must have been in the war or something, we used to go around Shop Street in Galway, shooting people, we used to say, bang bang, we used to call them shoots. <laughs> and there was a man lived in, in, in our garden and he was a fina and he had a gun and the police used to come looking for the gun and they couldn't get it. And one day they came and, uh, and they searched out, they couldn't get the gun, and they went off. And when they were out at the road again, he, he came out the door and he shouted them and he held it, he waved the gun at them. And they ran in, they thought they'd get it, and they searched the house again and they couldn't get it. And where he had the gun was up the chimney, he had a, he had a slot up the chimney here to keep the gun in. Yeah, and never got. I, I sat in the car and I crashed into the wall, and I never drove a car since. <laughs> That's it. 
myself and a friend of mine on one side of the road, you know, the wall, mm. with the long string. And just as it was getting dark, it dark night, and we were watching some old fellow with a hat, a hat or cap yeah. or something, and uh, we were just holding the string on and just take his cap off. <laughs> but, uh, we thought that was very funny. <laughs> And we had a spring well at the end of the garden. And I remember in our play, my brother pitched me into the into the spring well and I was saturated all over. I had to go home to get And how, did, how did you get out? He must have pulled me out. <laughs> Well, it was a few years ago. It was the year that um, uh, Barack Obama was uh, made president and um, I had been watching it, uh, the results on television all night with the help, I was on my own, but I had the help of a few hot whiskies and I spent all night up watching it. And when the results came in then, um, he, there was great excitement and himself and um, his wife uh, went backstage, they were getting ready to go to the ball. So I decided while they were doing that, I would lie down for an hour, <laughs> except I fell asleep. And uh, I had this beautiful dream. And um, it was uh, that Barack Obama and uh, Michelle, they came to um, Ireland on a visit. And um, lo and behold, if he didn't knock on my door as a surprise, and I opened the door, and there he was, and I said, why didn't you tell me you were coming and I would have scones made? And I was all um, upset over not having something ready, and I went to the fridge and I took out the chicken, <laughs> the big sandwiches, and the chicken fell out over the floor, and the secret service fellas gave me the look. And then I said, you better go to join the chipper and cat Turk, because I can't uh, feed you now. And, the sweat was pouring off me, and then I woke up <laughs> in the bike, and I went, uh, I went on the bike and fell off the bike. Oh, I remember my daughter, and um, oh, my two daughters go to the disco, and they were enjoying themselves. They were all excited, and they go and they went off in their bicycles, and they were going on the bus and kept coming about nine o'clock and they had a great time coming back. They were so disappointed there was no bicycles there and their bicycles were up on the highest tree. What advice would you give to young people? Go to school and mind school. Please, okay. And don't get into any trouble. Got it. And keep far, far away from what the things that's out there. Drugs and things. Yeah. Don't even look at them or look at people that's have an answer to do with them. Don't associate. Get off the drugs and Get off what? The, get off the drugs and cigarettes. Okay. Don't smoke and drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't argue. I don't argue with anyone. Don't fight. I don't argue. Go to mass if it's Very nice, very good time of your life and enjoy it as best you can. Yeah. Uh, it'll pass away very quickly. And uh, just uh, try not to do anything too foolish because you'll be very, feel very silly in a few, year, uh, a few years later. Yeah. Look after one another and not to go drinking to you. Well, avoid social media, media, and bullying. Young people have to be very level-headed today. They have to be careful to have good friends. And if they find in a bad company, get away from them. And be involved in sport and keep busy. Keep you away from the... Go to college when you're finished school. And don't drink or smoke. <laughs> Nanny never did. And she got on fine. Okay. And had plenty of boyfriends. And had a great time in my youth. And I never drank. All night, not to go on your own. Be careful when you go to disco. Uh, not to be drinking what you drink. 
and to be careful on the road when you're travelling because you don't know who's going to come and pick yeah. you up. There yeah. could be anybody in a car and pick you up. So do be careful, ladies, <laughs> and take care. Just to grow up and enjoy yourselves and don't do anything that you'd ever be ashamed of.